middle of a crowd of people. They are moving in a direction and I'm moving with them. They are running for something or running away for something. Feel the stress. They are running. We are running. And I don't understand why we are running. We are running away. Do you hear any sounds or no? What you're running from? Did anybody see anything? What is so I see now there is a volcano, so the land is exploding. The lava is running, coming in, so we need to run. The whole land is being destroyed. The, whole, the, the world is exploding. Is there anyone in the crowd with you that's running with you, or are you by yourself running? No, there is this boy with me. There is this boy. Tell me more about him. He's like uh, 11 years old or 9 or something like that. And he's having a shirt and uh, a, sh a short. And he's, he's looking very afraid. They're running together and uh, they're actually, it's like there is no place to go. So we, we don't get anywhere. We're just running, but we don't get anywhere. We just like completely chaos and it's everything is exploding in a volcano and there's nowhere to go and all these people there we are stuck there's no way we can get out of that we are stuck tell me more about what you look like how many fingers and toes your skin tone what do you look like so i'm a i'm, I'm a girl I, i'm like a normal human with five fingers and five toes and curly hair i feel alone and I, I'm all these people that I see that I don't know them. I, 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 I actually don't know why what I'm doing here. There is no way. There is no answers. There is completely everything is retracted into this action, and then everything is now exploding around us. What are some of these spaces you're seeing are exploding? What's exploding around you? What's everything? There is volcanoes. It, it seems like there is volcanoes and there are coming lava. There is this land which is just disappearing. Yes, I understand that. So do you live near this volcano then? Do you stay near this volcano? Tell me, why are you so close to the volcano? It's like there is a mineral. There is a mineral in, inside of these mountains. That's why we're here. Maybe we were digging for something and then now everything is lost. There is a mineral. There is something that we were looking for. Okay, so let's go back, back in time and space, back before the volcano is erupting, back when you're mentioning that you think you're looking for a mineral, so you're back before that happens to an important time and space. You're there now. Tell me, what are you doing? Describe more of who these you are, these people. How, how does this work? Why are you there? Okay, so I see something coming from the universe. There is this, well, there is this comment or something coming from the universe. Fiery, uh, big stone coming and it, it's crashing down to the soil. And probably this is what we were looking for. It's like we were, well, it was like we were set to do this task. There was this man around destructing everything that we were set to. All these kids, we were, we were there to uh, go into caves and try to find minerals or something combined with this that came from up outside um i don't know if if we were able to i just feel like these kids were they were easy to to use in order to get down into small areas in this mountains you know they were kids so we could go in and under and and find but the kids were just playing around and, and so we didn't find anything and and now it's too late it's, it's like a very negative place to be the men that are investigating this kind of explosion they they don't know and that's why they are using kids it's like they're testing things on these kids but these kids are they are very colorful they have the kids are very special i don't know they are connected to to some stars i think there is a really big big white angel coming and and these kids are connected to this i don't know why there is this really big white angel coming you're describing to me about this angel is this a female or a male it's a female it's i don't see her face because she's so tall i just see a, like a crown on top and it, she's so tall and so white and bright and it's like she's coming to save the children for me i i actually i was sure that she was coming and the kids were safe and all this man 
it was not right for them to use the kids. Beautiful. So tell me, what is she doing? What she? Where does she come from? Where do you see her coming from? No, but she's from some somewhere else. She's just well. She's really very. She's so big, and um, I just see another star. So she must come from somewhere else, protecting, looking after these small young kids. Mm -hmm. You mentioned she's big and bright and white light coming out of her. Does she have angel wings like most angels have? Oh. It's more like a pyramid, more like a, just a, a very small pyramid in, in shape, not in, in like stone, but she in, in the shape. Got it. So she's an embodiment of an angel in the shape of a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you said she's very large, so she wasn't there and then she just appeared. She's there? There now. Yes, yeah, she's there now. Okay. She's taking the souls of all the kids, you know, she's saving all the kids. She's, she's so, her heart is, I feel her so in my heart. She feels, you know, the feeling of very safety when I see her. feels so, there's so, so much heart warmth in her. So she's coming there to save the kids. Her destroy everything was destroyed and, and then all these kids were saved. Because I don't feel any, feel so safe i don't feel they we were taken care of beautiful beautiful so so these men were trying to use the kids to was it this to mineral go, you're talking about yeah to go into the caves and find these minerals because they were small and easy to get into these deepest deepest caves so but then these minerals landed from somewhere right you said they crashed down yes Okay. Are you able to tell me, um, can you see the mineral? What does this mineral look like? But I was just seeing the, this fire coming within this big explosion. And I now feel that this is supposed to be here. So it was supposed to come. The man wanted to dig them out, but the angel came and to guard everything. It was supposed to be there. It is not supposed to be taken away. Okay. And kids were just playing around. They knew that they could not take this away because it was supposed to be there. So they was just playing around, pretending. And they knew that they were safe because this, this angel was coming and, and guarding them and helping them. And actually fooled these men. Now everything is sealed. They cannot, they cannot come and take it. It's protected. That's beautiful. Thank you. So these children, did they are were they native to this location, or how did this these men get their children? Oh yeah, but that's a different story. They were taken away from their mothers. So that's another story. That's so sad. And again, I feel so much pain. Okay, we could go in that in a little bit. Okay. So, okay, so the men brought these children then here because they were taken from their mothers? They were taken from their mothers. Okay, and then, all right, so then they're using them to get the mineral. Are they able to acquire any of this mineral, these, these men? No. 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 Is it one man or many men? There's like a team, team of men. They're not so intelligent. They are just, they have put themselves on this mission, but they failed. They failed. What do the men look like? Middle age green, actually. They they don't like they don't look like human. They are they are actually they are maybe they are a mix of humans and nothing else because they are turning green when I look at them. They are but they don't look they are not so intelligent. I feel like these mothers they are gathering together and sending you know, they were sending they had this trauma the heart was broken and then they got together and really empowered themselves and sense and you know and they were connecting with their kids through their hearts and that's why they managed to help them and that's where i see the pyramid they were actually saving the land and their mother knew that at the end their kids were taken care of and, and this pyramid is is in a way connecting the kids to the oh it seems so very strange but the the mothers are red, loving, and the kids are there, and they know that they are connected with the mothers. And then it all ends up in a very nice pyramid with this angel. This is how they healed the, the land, and everything is blooming. The mother love, you know, the mother's hearts, mm -hmm. and all the roses I can see from the mother's hearts, and, and the kids, you know... And this cooperation was just so perfect. 
it's I'm just viewing it and it's so so beautiful. Beautiful. And what happens to those men? Oh well they cannot enter this solid love. They cannot enter it. So they just they know that they have to leave. They're leaving. Yeah, they are just going. They're been picking up with they're picking they've been picking up with the uh, black dragons. <laughs> yeah, they are getting away. Uh, they have been taken away and uh, these black dragons, they took them. So there's black dragons removing them from there? Yes. Yes. Okay, because only love is, is allowed within that space because of that love from the mothers and the children. They're not a matching vibration to that. No, they're not. Beautiful. Thank you. Um, and you said these, some, something was special about these children, that they were stars from the star. Can you tell me more about what you were saying? Yeah, because they were... You know, when I was looking at them, they were, they, they were, you know, they were this uh, color. They were shimmering blue color. And, and the, it was looks like they were watering. <laughs> there were water inside of them that I could see, like they were just, the water could just circle around in them. And so they were glowing. This water was glowing inside of them. They, they were not from, they were covered in, human kind of dresses but then suddenly they were showing another side where they were crystalline blue it was moving there was something moving inside of them that could be seen they were really high vibrated kids because they were really happy fooling around and they were they were i felt they were really high vibrated kids they were they were yeah Beautiful. You mentioned that you were um, you were one of the uh, these ladies running in the crowd with a child. So were you one of the mothers? It's like I'm I'm just seeing everything from outside, but I f I felt the kids and I felt the mothers, and I'm standing and just realizing everything that happens, and I'm not sure where I am if I am because I feel I feel both sides. I feel that I'm I'm just viewing. And I'm not sure if I'm on the one mother side or the kid's side. I'm just viewing them. And I was viewing this very tall angel coming, you know, gathering everything in a, this nice kind of triangle pyramid. And I was just viewing them. I, I was viewing the kids when they were running. And then I was viewing everything that, oh, I don't know, actually. I'm just there. And I'm, I'm feeling everything in my heart. Beautiful. So you're viewing this. Okay. Thank you. And so tell me what happens after this pyramid comes and protects the space, the children are saved. Are the, the mothers, are they rejoining with their children? Yeah, it, I feel like there's some rebuilding. There's some rebuilding and moving forward and rising. And now I can see that the trees are coming back. Now it's getting green. Trees are coming back. The birds are coming so you know everything was supposed to be like this in order to so it was really beautiful to to watch this everything is growing now and they're playing with their mothers and playing yeah they are with mothers now the mothers are red full of roses there's so much love there and the kids are blue very very happy very high braided you know they're just laughing and everything is growing now the palm trees are glow. tell me what else are you seeing what is going on? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to um, I'm ready to leave actually it's getting dark the night now I'm ready to to leave I feel like uh, feel like going in this direction flowing keep telling me everything that's happening yeah so I, I'm I'm going in this dark spot and and then I see the stars and I I definitely want to go up there's like there's somewhere I belong somewhere else so I'm, I feel like I feel like that I want to go up there. Go in that direction and explain to me how you're doing that. Explain to me everything that's happening. Pointing or just connecting to it. And then I'm rising up. Yeah, and that's where I go into this bubble. Taking away, taking off my dresses and taking off everything and just for myself. And then going somewhere 
everything is very peach light. It's like I'm coming up to light and feel like there is a strong man energy waiting for me or waiting for me to come back. Yeah, so that's where I belong. That's where there is well this rainbow connecting to me. This is home. Beautiful. Yes, this is home. I feel this is where I belong. This is my source that's where i come and refill myself that's so peaceful yeah and there's a lot of people there you know there there's everything is peace everything is love and it's a it's it's that's where i come from this is where i charge i feel like i i go there to charge yeah i charge and i need to go back so i'm charging in this peach purple atmosphere there's a lot of women you know they're all like white dressed and there's this feel this it looks like a man but it's it's more like that i feel it's a man because it's a safe place to be and there's just peace and i feel so home yeah it's it's a place where i charge and um so you said you feel like a male presence there with you too yeah there's this man you know just safe deep love you know this really safe you know grounded man yeah good so then this is a place you go to recharge so is this what you do you travel and you go to places like that where the children and the mothers needed each other yes Yes. do you have a form and embodiment of some kind any colors or shapes to you yes um after i arrived to this place i was felt naked in a way because i i left behind everything you know to, to clean up and to 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 charge so i'm just gathering colors actually just putting on color energy i'm just filling up with color energy yeah and then uh, there is this white dress just for cover up and i'm working i'm going barefoot everybody's like look like they're very warm now they're warm and going barefoot you know we're staying close together we don't mind you know we are we are so connected so peaceful and actually we are using the third eye we don't communicate we're just using the third eye and we know everything about each other and about the peace that we are feeling we're just viewing everything and we know some of them are putting on some wings as it was the normal thing to do (laughs) anything else you want to tell me about this space and Anything else you're being shown? There is something going on in my head. Like I feel like there is, well, there is something dragging me now. <laughs> That's why probably I feel that there is something going on in my head. Maybe I, there is something, you know, that comes to my attention. My head is you now getting all blue now. There is another task I need to, I need to go again. There's another task. Yes, I'm ready. Do you need to go somewhere else? Let's go to that place that you need to go to now. Go ahead, go there now. Describe everything that's happening as you're going. Okay, so now I see this. It looks like a jail. It's like a big gray jail house. And there's a lot of kids in there. There's a lot of kids in there. And I I, 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 I feel that there's so much trauma that I, I cannot go into it because it's so terrifying. You know, these kids, I need to release them somehow. I'm looking for people to gather but well, they're just trapped. These kids are just trapped in inside of old, old jailhouse or old like buildings. It's very long and I'm trying to find a way to help them. And I'm sending a lot of lights. It's just like, it's like, it, um, it seems like a very easy task for me. It seems like I could just order powers and help them. But we need to have the mothers. So that's why I'm running to, to, to go for help. We need the mothers. So I'm running. Seems like very strange. I'm running and asking for mothers or women to help me. You know, I've gathered a hundred powering us together and sending powers to our kids. The kids that's in taken in these jails. It's for me seeing all this. I, I look at it so easily. It's it's a little bit strange because I feel like I'm just just another task that we need to just make sure will succeed. And 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 then it will succeed because the mothers is coming and you know mothers are coming. 
you know, now they're coming and there's a new empowerment behind the women's up are doing what they're supposed to do. They're, you know, connecting with their heart and, and everything is turned around, you know, and then I, the light is, I feel like the light or I see, this time I see white roses. The light is kind of entering. I, I'm sorry, I, it seems very strange, but why shouldn't they? Why shouldn't them just take their power? That's beautiful. Yeah, I, I actually woke up with that exact feeling you're mentioning right now. How powerful we are, especially the Divine Feminine. And if we reunite and um, support and bring our light together, strength to that. Thank you for sharing that. Anything else you want to share about this? So what I feel really, uh, you know, when we're reunite with this kind of understanding things are growing again you know then i see it's growing again the green every you know the green or the green flower or the, the forest you know just so alive again and it's the mothers they have so much and it's mother earth i think allowing also to be healed to grow again i just feel her very in my heart it's beautiful thank you powerful Let's go ahead and leave that life now, or you can stay also within that space, higher self as you see fit. But we're moving away from um, that being there. Yes. Greetings, higher self. I love you, honor you, and respect you. Thank you for being here. Am I speaking to you? higher self now? Yes. Thank you. I know you hold all the records of different lives. May I ask you questions? Yes. Higher self, tell me, tell me, why did you bring her to this life? What are some of the lessons you wanted her to learn from that experience? So she needed to see this, because she's got this also flame inside of her, this love flame. She needs to develop that in order to help, help the feel, to help the women to, to blossom, to have the rose just you know, open up and, and get into the power. And she can do that. She just needed to see how powerful it was, even though it seems so obvious. She needed to integrate those pyramid kind of triangles. She will know how to use them now uh, Now, when she's, you know, she, she was able to see it, how powerful it was for the, for the, for the, earth it's a, it's a tool for her beautiful higher self can you tell us about this form she was in she seemed to be like an energetic type of form is this her higher self form or what form was this of her self that was you know going to help and then back to like the star energy then help again tell us yeah. more about this 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 is how she can this is where she's coming from you know and and this is her star family. This is where she's, you know, in charging for her for her purpose. And knowing that she come can come up there, and knowing that there's a team there, peace that she's the peace she really felt. This is the peace that she's coming from. It's where she's coming from, actually. And now she knows. So it's gonna be like a source for her to charge and to help. And to use that the children that is trapped. Or it's the only thing that I can see is she needs to charge and come and, and do the work, a mission. Beautiful, thank you. And then so this place that she went to was that was that a planet, a realm that where she was helping the children and the those mothers? The first place was not this earth. That was somewhere else. So at least it must have been in a really different uh, time zone old age <laughs> yeah but the other scene was from somewhere on earth yes but still age you know many many years ago which scene the one that she went back to energy which scene so the first scene where you know where the, the crash comet crashed to the land and where the they were supposed to cover up. Those were two different scenes. Got it. So the first one was Earth, and then the second one was somewhere else where there was. Yeah, children. maybe somewhere Earth, but it must have been like for thousands of years ago, thousands, thousands, thousands of years ago. Yes. Yeah. In the first life, where there was this volcano exploding, correct? Yes. Okay. And so, so did she um, pass away in that life there? So this is what I'm just viewing. I, I just viewing it. And I don't feel trapped in it. Got it. So the whole time she was just viewing these different places. I thank don't you. feel trapped in it. Trapped in her life. And Good. Thank you. Okay. And oh, what, a, what a, such a, a, a gigantic 
message for us and the mothers and the divine feminine to come together and to protect and how we could create that field like that pyramid that those mothers and the cho the children for the you know the love for the for their children to their mothers and the mothers love to their children and how they um you know were protected and that embodiment of that angel through that pyramid that they call forth and brought forth to to save the children from these you know dark men that were trying to harm them or use them that is so important very important lesson for everyone um and whoever's going to this message in whichever way um may they remember to not allow themselves to be controlled, divided, um, especially controlled by narcissists, people who are out there um, in whatever forms um, causing havoc like these men causing havoc to those children and those mothers. Um, so yeah, let us not align with that and let us align with love always. Thank you, higher self. All right, higher self, anything else you want to tell us about that experience you showed her before we begin her body scan? Anything else I could have asked? No. Wonderful. Higher self, is this a good time then to begin her body scan? Yes. Good. Who would you like to call forth upon? Any archangels? Anyone? I send the masters and so on to assist. So Mother Mary, Yestra, Gabriel, Ariel, and Michael. Got it. Thank you. All right. Higher self, connect us to now. I'm going to just call them in all, all together as a group. Um, we would like to now speak to Mother Mary, Yeshua, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Michael. Speaking to all of you now, you can just speak collectively if you like. Greetings. Thank you. I love you all, honor you, and respect you. What a powerful team she's called. We love you. Thank you for answering her call. Higher self and beautiful team here. Go ahead and start scanning her body. We are looking for any negative energies, entities, technologies. Where would you like to begin at in her body? So there's something in her head. There is dark, something in her head. There's darkness in her head. Okay, let's scan that. Is that an energy, entity, or technology in her head? It's an energy. And does this energy have consciousness or is it just energy? It seems like it has consciousness. Consciousness, because it has a veil. So it does have consciousness. Is this uh, conscious? So then that means that it's not an energy. That means it's an entity. So what kind of entity is this? Is it a reptilian, archon, or earth? Archon. Contained now with the symbols in the head. Let me know when it's contained. Angelic team? No. Thank you. Let's go ahead and start neutralizing that archon in her head now. We're directing the phoenix fire as well over to her head. Start eradicating, neutralizing that archon. Tell me, when did it attach there to her head? It's away now. We take it away now. Good. It's already neutralized and removed? Yes. Good. Let's direct phoenix fire now to her head. We're transmuting any residue, anything left behind. Can we do that? Yes. Beautiful. Tell me, when did it attach to her head? Um, Earth, or she was just... Very young, a year, maybe a year old. What was going on with her then that allowed for this to attach? She was not seen. Mm -hmm. She was a lonely child, child, so she was an easy target. Let's start healing all trauma that might have been happening to her then when this arc on attached now. Yes, your Mother Mary, higher self, can you start doing that? Yes, it's away. Good. All right, let's keep scanning here. Uh, let's go ahead and find all entities in her. Scan her deeply, thoroughly. Are there any entities in her? There is something in her tail, bone area. What kind of entity is that? Reptilian, archon, or earthbound? I guess um, there's a reptilian. Contain that now in her tailbone. Let me know when it's contained with the symbols. Uh, do you mean you're just removing them? Um, So if you're just going to be removing them by yourself, I know she's very strong with her energy. Um, So can we just ask that the the organic entities, that they turn to positive polarization, that they have a chance to ascend out, and then what's artificial automatically is eradicated. Can you ensure of that? Yes. Good. And then if these reptilians have a body somewhere, I know you all are working very multi-dimensional right now, but if they have a body somewhere else, make sure that the, you connect to that body and then any anyone else who they attach to and help those people release those attachments from them, whoever allows. Can you ensure of that with this reptilian you removed? Yes. Okay, good. And going forward, we can do that if you like, since you're flowing with us. Any other reptilians in her body besides um, the tailbone? Let's find them all and help start helping them really saw. So let's find them all so we can contain them. Where else does she have reptilians in her body? There is something in her feet. Is that a reptilian? No, an entity. And what kind of entity is that? Reptilian, archon? Well, you said no reptilian, so archon, uh, earthbound, something else. What is it? It's earthbound. Okay, contain it now in the symbols. And is it ready um, to go ahead and release them? Spread its light. Beautiful. All right. 
So all of these ensuring as they're positive, polarizing automatically, automatically neutralizing, especially the ones that are positive polarizing. Can we call on Archangel Azrael to ensure he's um, their, their safe passageway to where they're meant to go divinely? There are. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Azrael. All right. We're moving beautifully here. Okay. Where else does she have? Any more entities in her? There is something in the net. Okay. What kind of entity is that? Archon. Contain it now in the symbol. So I mean, no one is contained. Um. Good. Neutralize it. Eradicate any residue of Phoenix fire to her neck. Again, all of these that we're removing, we're healing all the traumas. Mother Mary Yeshua, can you assure as we remove them that you're healing all the traumas? Yes. Good. Thank you. Okay. So what what was um this one on the neck causing her? It was causing her some heaviness. She was bearing a lot of heaviness. And, and now she, she can release that now. And there's so much more light coming in now. Beautiful. All right. Start healing that now. And how about the earthbound entity that released as well that was in her feet? What was that causing her so we could heal that? Yeah. Take the next step. So she was unable to, to do her walk. She will be fine now. That's beautiful. Thank you. We're healing all that trauma there. Okay, now um, how about the one in her table? What was that causing her? So the energy was stuck there. And she was unable to blossom. So now she feels like she will feel much more calm. And her energy can move as it's supposed to. Beautiful. Good. Okay. And then let's keep scanning her. Are there any other entities in her? Look inside deeply, inside all organic matter, making sure nothing else is hiding. There is something in her third eye, dark energy. Does this dark energy have consciousness? No. And let's go ahead and direct Phoenix Fire now to transmute that dark energy in her third eye. Let me know when that's cleared. Sure. Beautiful. Source of light in Phoenix Fire to her third eye. Tell me how did that dark energy get there to her third eye? In the 20th, you should all the boundaries and relationships close down her abilities we'll see you now beautiful thank you okay keep scanning her where else does she have entities at anymore no scan her dna herself and see look into her dna does she have anything attached in her dna any nano ai negative aliens integrated into her dna no and then can while you're looking at her dna can you go ahead and deprogram any false belief system within the dna yes. and then ensure you begin her crystallization and if in case we're missing anything again we're ensuring that we don't miss anything so in her make sure that her dna is fully organic fully hers and crystalline okay beautiful so good so we're gonna scan her one more time just in case as you know i like to double triple check all right mother mary yes gabriel ariel michael yes um yeah scan her one more time are there any other entities scan her deeply thoroughly any others hiding no beautiful yeah they told me at the first the beginning of the session she was going to be pretty clear because her light is very strong thank you okay just like the example she showed us today Mm -hmm. And not much can remain in a body that, that is strong in their light, <laughs> right? Because they're not a matching vibration otherwise. Good. Okay, beautiful. But the, the, but what happens is, right, higher self is that um, some of these, the versions of us, when that happen, are still need healing. So maybe the versions of us are a lot of light. The versions of us back then... Like when you said, you know, she got the dark energy stuck there, that the reptilian tailbone. These were times where she was younger and perhaps, you know, becoming not, wasn't that strong. So those times, that's how we do through aura. We go back to those times and heal those times where she received those attachments. So it's very powerful. And first of all, thank you, higher self, for choosing her. As you know, we're in a workshop right now and, um, you know, we have beautiful beings here with us who are getting certified through aura and we're also thank you for allowing for her to be the one to show us this beautiful example so that we may not astray into the ego the falseness of the archonic control and we stay in our hearts and our journey thank you thank you <laughs> beautiful okay so no more entities i'm still going to go through the list and make sure higher self that i don't miss anything again then i just want to confirm um can you scan her for any types of like reptilian skin or black goo does she have anything like that in her there's something black in her back and what is it is it like this black goo so is it organic like reptilian in nature or is it artificial black goo no you said as well no it's organic okay so just black yeah energy okay so let's phoenix fire and transmute that black energy from her spine and what cause for that energy to be there now it's gone beautiful oh. how did she get that dark energy there i was traveling she was 
traveling and she met people that was not good for her. And it was an attachment as opposed to how it's aware now. Beautiful. Thank you. Start healing her from that moment in time and space when that happened to her. Thank you. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, can we scan her? Oh, can we ask that all the healing we've done today so far and the healing we'll continue to do, that all of it, all the healing and removal of inversions are done within her tree of life through all time and space. Thank you, higher self. Okay. And then can we scan her for any dark portals? Does she have any dark portals? No. Okay, how about in her home and her land? Are there any dark portals there that need to be closed? No. Beautiful. I can tell she's done a lot of work. Okay, and then, so I'm just going to make sure we get everything done here today, higher self. So can we scan her? Michael, can you scan her for any negative cords? Does she have any? Yes. She have a. She has a cord for, for her sister. Can we cut that cord off, higher self? Did you say yes? It's, it's already now away. Already gone. Beautiful. No other negative cords, higher self, anymore? Well, beautiful. Thank you, higher self. <laughs> All right. And then um, can we scan her for any other types of negative technologies? Scan her for any negative implants, hooks, metals, rods, wires, anything, technology of any kind. Scan her deeply, thoroughly. Does she have any of that? No. Beautiful. We're directing Phoenix Fire and Source of Light everywhere throughout her entire body where the body needs it. Can we do that? Yes. 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 Good. Okay, thank you. Good. And then can we scan her soul, higher self and team? How's her soul looking? Are there any fractured soul pieces missing? No, she's good. Beautiful. Okay, her whole is soul. Thank you. Okay, and then can we scan her for any negative contracts? Michael, can you check? Are there any? No. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. And then, okay, higher self. Um, so Yashua, higher self and Mother Mary, can you heal her if she needs any dental healing as well as any vision healing? Can you do that now? Thank you. And then can we also age regress her higher self? How many years can we age regress her? Yes, how many years? Good. Start that process now, higher self and team. And then also I ask that you ensure that all her chakras, none are blocked or misaligned, that um, you open up her third eye and activate her abilities, expand her heart, heal her auric field. Okay, can you do all that? Yes. Beautiful. Can we scan her? She's mentioned that she has digestive systems and affects her. What's going on? Why is she having this? Is there anything attached here? It's the, it's the, so she's troubling with her connection to this earth as she's from somewhere else. And she's, the food is not right for her and she's coping with it. It's going to be okay. It's just her journey. How about it's, if she worked on um, eating more like organic and vegan? Would that help? She's doing fine. She's doing she's doing some healing work with a lady, and she's supposed to continue that. There's some waves, electronic waves that are coming into her stomach. She should continue doing that. It's good for her. Wonderful. But I know higher self that you can heal anything. So can you heal her today so that she alleviates this and going forward in the future? If she ensures she eats, you know, positive food. Yes, it's done. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, and then, uh, she, okay, so let me see. Can we start working in her tree of life, higher self, and um, source as well? Can we call in source of light now? Speak to source? Yes. Greeting source, I love you, honor you, and respect you. We feel your beauty. Okay, if you could assist this divine team that's assisting in the higher self, all of you now start working on deleting any inverted timelines, higher self. Can we delete for her any inverted timelines she has? Yes. You all time and space. Thank you. We scan her tree of life. Are there any holograms or clones made from her tree of life? It's okay. Everything's good? Yes. But healing her tree of life completely. Um, healing all current life and past life trauma, as well as the entirety of the tree, the trunk, the branches, inside her roots and or around the tree, any elements around the tree as well. Her entire tree of life. Can we do that? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. So I have that. Let me see what else. Is it for health? As she was asking. She wanted to know, how's her health? How is her health, higher self? She's okay. She will be much better now. She's opening up, so it will be fine. Beautiful. And then she also wanted healing for her heart. How's her heart looking now? She's so much more aware of the connection in her heart. And she's she's okay. She's It's opening up like a really, really big rose. She's okay. Okay, beautiful. All right, and then... Hey, higher self, can you confirm that her whole entire body scan is all good and she's all clear now? Yeah. Beautiful. Can you confirm that we set her up for her most organic timeline? Yeah, she's ready to go. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, higher self, she has a couple questions. May I ask them? Okay, she wanted to know... Um, 
Uh, advice for her kids, you know, how to assist them. How can she help them? Bring forth more, um, you know, awareness, whatever she needs to do as far as, um, you know, bringing more spirituality perhaps to them. Or, or what can you tell her about her kids? It needs to be more helping them through food. She must do some preparation for the food. That will be very important. She must help them eat different. She will manage. They know. They listen to her. It will be okay. Beautiful. Say that again. Everything is just as it is. You know, it's okay. Thank you. She wanted to know how to allow people more in. No, everything is uh, organic with her kids and her relationship to them is just continue being you and they will learn from you. They will learn. They are so open. Beautiful. All right, higher self, I've asked all the questions that she had and we've conducted the body scan. Higher self, is there anything else that I could have asked that I haven't? No. She's phoning away now, so maybe you should take her out. <laughs> She's floating away. <laughs> Falling her burning <laughs> is she comfortable everything's okay and you cut you cut out you said what's going on with her she's boiling she's so warm she's uh oh, she's hot, <laughs> hot. <laughs> got it okay help her cool off higher self okay higher self i need final messages for her uh, before i bring her back the crown hello for now Is that all you want to talk we're good are we yes. done Okay. All right. Beautiful. Hire yourself. Um, yeah, hire yourself. This is such a powerful session. She's also in the complete dark. Um, so no one can see her and well, we can cut out her name if we mentioned it. Would this be a very, um, I think this would be a very beautiful, powerful session to share for the collective to, to help them learn. Is this, um, are we able to share this in our channels? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. We'll ensure we keep her identity anonymous. Thank you. All right, higher self. Um, I am. We are done. May um, or do you have a message? Actually, since we have a beautiful group here, do you have a message for them, higher self, before we bring you back? Thank you for all the love that you're bringing into this session. It was special to share those experiences with you, and it felt so safe that you were around. So really deep. Warm love sending to you now from my heart to yours. Beautiful. Thank you, higher self. Love you, honor you, respect you. And thank you to everyone. Mother Mary, Yeshua, Gabriel, oh. Ariel, Michael. Thank you. Thank you. Love you, honor you, respect you. I'm going to bring her back now. Okay, higher self? Yes. Welcome back. Take your time. When you're ready, you can sit up and drink some water. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> how do you feel did you drink water drink some water love that blue behind you nadia is incredible you all see that blue you wow how do you feel toby thank you i feel oh my God. that was so beautiful my head is a little bit um, busy and uh, I feel great and it's uh, so much to take in. Oh my God. Absolutely. So much, so much. So many lessons and wow, oh, yeah, powerful, divinely powerful message for us. Thank you. Thank you. Heart. Thank you with all that I am because um, like I told your higher self, I was feeling that this morning and I had already actually made a plan that I'm going to make a video soon talking about how uniting uniting our light uniting our light it just it was just gonna be a video full of love so it was just gonna be love <laughs> and um and now i know why i woke up saying i was gonna make that video because then you go into it literally like you go into this and the pyramid and the love and it's like wow ah if this earth would just understand that if we all united in love instead of um being used in narcissistic narcissistic ways and we're clashing against each other going against each other, being mean, bullying, and so on. If we just figured out that we need to stop doing that and just unite together like that, say, pyramid of love, like those mothers and children, we would have ascended, of course, long, long ago. That's the key. So if we could just ensure that in this journey, we, we no matter no matter what, we embody love. And even if um, someone tries to steer us in a negative way somewhere else, we, we don't have to listen to them. We don't. We listen to ourselves. What they say matters not no more. How powerful, you know, all the part was when they were, you know, gathering together. How they were, they were flames. 
you know, of power in this love. And everything was possible. It was amazing. <sighs> I can feel that. So if we can just, they were so good during the session, but the minute's done, they're like, ah! <laughs> um, but yes, they, you could feel exactly everything you said. Such, <sighs> if only we remember our power. <laughs> The love that we embody through the power, this divine power, right? Wow. And everything is possible. Just like you said. You know, because now it's just, um, I, I feel so different. So thank you so much. Thank you. You look, you're glowing. You look brighter, lighter. You guys see there's so much beauty in her. Um, well, there, yeah, the beauty is truly emanating through her. We got this. We'll go over this tomorrow. Okay. I love you all with all that. I am. thank you. You've all held such a beautiful love for her. I love you. Thank you for doing that. I'll see you tomorrow. You all have a beautiful, blessed day. Greetings. It is such an honor to be here with you explaining what Galactic Soul History book series is about. I am Aurora. I am the founder of Aura Hypnosis Healing, which you will find here in our beautiful books. Book one. Every part of this book is divinely beautiful, beginning from the cover and the amount of wisdom and knowledge that is being shared. This book began by Aura Hypnosis Healing Technique by conducting past life regression on over 330 clients within the last three years, where they told their galactic history, their soul journeys, explaining who they were beyond the veil, beyond this earth, in the dimensions, in a the universe. These different higher self expressions surprise me just as much as they're going to surprise you. You're going to start reading this book and you're going to want to learn more and more about these different expressions, not wanting to stop. Through these past life regressions, the clients were able to remember consciously what is within the subconscious as far as where it is that they've traveled throughout time and space, their souls have traveled, and they were able to share histories, histories of different dimensions, planets, and universe, and alternate worlds that brought forth pieces of the puzzle, pieces we had thought that we had forgotten. And through every self-expression that they share and these different past lives that they're sharing or future, we learn to be able to remember self because as we are all fractals of one another through this book, you will learn how how even if a client is talking through a higher self perspective or some of the angelics are talking, you will learn how each one of those have messages even within your life as we are all expressions and reflections of one another. True history of the galactic history of the universe through all different forms of these higher self expressions, these different clients of throughout internationally throughout the world didn't know each other, but yet we're able to put this beautiful collaboration together. It goes through an infinite amount of how to self heal as well as things that are very very sensitive as the my lab as how to weave through the artificial matrix and learning to come out from it into the organic matrix i am a channel to the galactics and we channeled furthermore information through this book as well you will remember your soul through other cells this in itself is infinitely beautiful because this is why we fractalize from source itself so that we can learn from one another sharing each other's journeys throughout our different incarnations so that we could grow together so this is what this book is all about sharing these beautiful infinite expressions that help you grow in the most profound ways gaining your sovereignty gaining your power back recalling memories long lost within perhaps your memory field activating your crystalline energies your crystalline bodies just as you will fall in love with each one of these different clients these beautiful souls in these soul journeys you will also learn to fall in love with yourself because you with every wisdom every knowledge gained through every single session that you will learn you will learn how to also self-heal within your 
etheric, your energy body, your physical body, your infinite soul, you will learn all these different things that we thought that were not possible, that you will learn that they are possible. Looking forward to meeting you perhaps in the future through whichever form, whether that is on my YouTube channel, whether it is through any class or certification, through a workshop, through a seminar. Thank you for following your heart to mine. I love you, honor you, and respect you. Thank you.